So it's your, your 20th anniversary here of this yep. location. And I want to just for you to uh, sort of cast your mind over those years and think of any uh, particular achievements that have stood out to you as being things you're, very, you're particularly proud of mm -hmm. um, dur during that time frame. Uh, you know, but the first thing that came to my mind was just several different clients who have um, uh, really, you know, gone from non-functional almost to functional. Uh, a b clients who have uh, come in the door with a cane or a walker and walked out without it. Um, uh, like I was saying, like children who have come in obese and uh, have left lean and stronger, and these are the kinds of things that really mean the most to me. I mean, uh, you know, like. I, I haven't, I mean, you know, in writing my books, of course, it's, it's, it's very, it's a very rewarding to obviously to write a book. You work hard on it. Um, are, there, are there any uh, sort of from from a business perspective as well? Any achievements you're particularly proud of? Um, the fact that I've lasted for twenty years. <laughs> I'm proud of that. I mean, a lot of people say, "Dude, for twenty years, that's something." Yeah. Uh, opening up the second facility in Montclair and having that thrive, um, I'm I'm proud of that. I, I really am. Um, um, but it, but really it's just the individual achievements of the clients that I've had and especially some of the older clients and the children that, yeah. um, really make me feel like I'm making a difference. Uh, you know, right. You change one life for the better. And has a ripple effect as well. It yeah. does. And that's, uh, you know, and, I, and I'll get emails and phone calls from people. I just got a, actually, I just got a phone call from this guy, Joe. He was a Vietnam veteran and he was, he came in the doors like kind of almost crippled. And obviously, I can't uncripple him, but the, the, he just couldn't continue to afford it. But the benefit, he just said on the phone, he goes, you know, Fred, I, I wish you all the best. You, know, you changed my life. You know, it's just that phone call alone. And he's going to listen in on my podcast, he said. That's why he called. Yeah. Um, just that phone call alone, like, makes my month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. On the, other, on the other foot, shoe on the other foot, are there any challenges or, or failures or, or things that have, have got in the way that you would have done things differently with or, or, or have given you a greater learning? Is, is there anything that's been a particular challenge that you've, you've had to surmount? Yeah, well, you know, it's um, early on, I guess it was um, trying, you know, trying to convince people that less is more, that strength training, that, that this should be their foundation. I feel like I've, in many ways, and that's kind of one reason why I want to do these talks, I feel like I've, even for 20 years, I've sort of failed to educate as well as I really would have liked. And early on it was because I was too, like the forums. I was too like, no, don't do aerobics. Pilates is stupid. And all people hear is, I'm stupid. Oh, Fred, you're telling me I'm stupid. Okay, well, I don't want your little gym then. Not realizing that it, uh, the better way to say it is enjoy yourself, enjoy your life, do whatever you want to do, and make strength training a part of that so that you can go out in the world and do anything you want better. I wish I would have taken that approach sooner. You know, that's a you'll, 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 you'll learn. You know. yeah. right, right. <laughs> the gray and the beer, that's what it takes.